Hello guys, welcome to a new video regarding a new update for the R6 and R5 mirrorless cameras that Canon sell. Um, they've brought the technology from the newly released R3 uh, mirrorless camera. Um, so let's have a look what that entails. So a substantial improvement on autofocus performance. Um, basically there's an improvement on focusing people with helmets and goggles and a vehicle priority AF mode that will prioritize cars and motorcycles when shooting motorsports. Uh, the spot detection feature can also be implemented to focus specifically on the helmet of the driver inside the vehicle. So that's really exciting guys, um, which means if you already own an R5 and R6, you get that functionality regarding, um, you know, um, vehicle tracking, which is great that they brought that in. Um, unfortunately, those of you who've got the R EOS R, the original, um, no updates will be coming out for that. Um, so, other information regarding that, regarding that is this car auto focus feature was first shown off dur during. Canon's introduction pre uh, presentation for its EOS um, R, sorry, the, the R3 camera. So it's nice to see the feature trickle down to the EOS R5 and R6. So obviously, um, it's really exciting news. Um, so just remember that firmware update will be coming out on the 2nd of December. So there's a little bit of time for us to wait before we can actually download it put it on an SD card and install it. Um, so what else have we got to say about it? Um, it will perform as well on the EOS 5 and the EOS R6 as it will on the EOS R3. So we get the same functionality. Uh, it's not being dumbed down, so that's great. Um, when it becomes available, obviously. Uh, increasingly, Canon specifically notes that general passenger cars, commercial vehicles and motorcycles may not be detected but doesn't elaborate on why. In particular, non-racing vehicles won't be detected as easily. Um, so that, that's a bit odd, um, which suggests just in motorsports that we'll get um, great autofocus performance but everyday vehicles we may not get um, a great functionality on tracking vehicles so it's a bit odd that so what else have we got Canon has also improved eye or focus detection when there is a shadow on the face of a fringe hanging over the eyes of the subject and also has added a new torso detection component that will focus on the midsection of the subject should their eyes, face and head be hidden or obscured. So that's interesting that they've uh, sort of increased and modified the autofocus performance um, regarding its eye tracking. Um, we all know that the eye tracking on the R6 and R5 is outstanding. Um, but those are a few extra things that they've included. So hopefully this um, update on the firmware update that Canon has released is informative guys. Um, I'm sort of mixed, it's a bit of a mixed bag that um, which suggests that there may be an issue regarding uh, tracking normal vehicles but during sporting events um, vehicles as well as the driver with, with the helmet or if they've got goggles on will be trackable. Uh, that there may be an issue regarding just general vehicles on the road. Um, that might be due to the Data Protection Act and they don't want people possibly recording vehicles um, that's on the road. That's poss a possible possibility. But um, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, hope this update was helpful to you guys to understand what the update is all about. Hopefully I informed you about it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.